Welcome! This is Total Game Freak's wife, and you're watching us play Sekiro Shadow Stoy Tvise. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. This is the newest From Software game. That's the studio From Software who made the Dark Souls series. I'm going into this knowing basically nothing, which is really exciting and I love it. Uh, I've just seen a couple trailers and that's it. I know it has a lot more freedom of movement than the Dark Souls games. I think you can jump and like grapple and stuff. I know it's set in the Sengoku period and uh, I don't think there's any sort of shield use. I think it's more about um, kind of goes more in the Bloodborne direction of focusing more on faster combat than more defensive play. Which is exactly what you do. Yeah, exactly. It's perfect for me. Oh, the second voice, by the way, is my wife, Anni. Hello, my name is Nyanyi. <laughs> you will all know me as the person who sometimes comments weird shit on her videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is the first time that I've either of us have done a dual commentary, so it's probably going to be kind of awkward. There's going to be a lot of learning how to do this. <laughs> so it might be a little bit weird, but we'll learn. Um, but yeah, she's always loved to watch me play the Dark Souls series, and since Sekiro is very much in the same vein, she really wanted to watch. So let's begin a new game. I haven't even loaded up the game, actually. I've never pressed this button. I'm trying to remain as unspoiled as possible, so... The default voice language for this game is Japanese. It could be set to English and all sorts of other languages, but I'm going to leave it on Japanese with the assumption that that's probably for the best, because it's default, and also From Software is a Japanese company. All right, let's begin. New game. Did I press the right button? New game camera options? What? Are they really taking me through all the options? I guess so, okay. <laughs> I already went through the options. Tokyo, <laughs> Sengoku Maki.殺すは亡くしたか。ああ。共に来るか。飢えた狼。そして戦場で拾われた狼は修行の末熟達の忍びとなった。忍びの起きては忘れまい。親の次に大事なもの。お前の心に刻むがよい。あれが今日からお前のある。命を閉じて守る。
たとえ奪われるとも必ず取り戻すのだよいなら狼よ一心の国取りから24年アシナの国は斜陽にあり狼の忍びは全てを失っていた育ての義父も守るべき主も。忍びよ目覚めてくださいあなたの主のために Oh, this immediately feels like Dark Souls. Is that my bonfire? <laughs> Ornamental letter. A letter thrown into a well. Kuro's wolf, your destiny awaits you as the moon, at the Moonview Tower. Escape from the well and find the tower bathed in moonlight. Even without a blade, you can reach it. Stay silent. Stay vigilant. Oh yeah, I read that this is more like sneaking. There's actually stealth? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. So it just mirrors it's very is it very quiet. Yeah, there's like your steps have no sound. <laughs> yeah, let me check the audio levels. Okay, I think the audio level's better for us. I'm seeing some really interesting things in the movement. So, A to jump, and then if I double press A, get this like kick. It looks like. Whoa! <gasps> Wall jump? Oh! Did it happen automatically? Hmm. Pressing A to jump, and then pressing A again while on the wall seems to like make me kind of jump off it or jump up. Double jump, kinda. Yeah. And then if I jump and then press X, it looks like it's trying to like grab something. Oh, the movement seems really fluid. Okay, uh, let's go somewhere. The game will probably teach us what we need to know. Then again, it's from software. Maybe it will teach us nothing. Can I go underwater? You can swim? You could never do that in Dark Souls, right? No, 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 no. Could I grab onto those? Yeah, I don't know how to get up there. Let's go the other way. Oh, do you have reduced motion of one of your arms? When you swam, I think I only saw one of your arms really do the swimming movement. Hmm, my left arm does look like... It looks like it's covered in armor. Hmm. But our right arm isn't. Hmm. 
Uh, yeah, our right arm is totally stationary. It's not moving. Yeah, our right arm, the one without the armor stuff on it. It's the one that's not moving when we swim. Huh. Yeah, we're obviously hurt. I mean, we don't look too good. The face on our health in the bottom left is like 10%. A to jump. Thank you. A in air near wall. Wall jump. That's so cool. That is so cool. Ashina Reservoir. Can I sprint? Whoa. Oh, pressing down the left stick makes me... Sneak. I know they're going to teach me all this, but I still feel like playing around with the controls. <laughs> Try to see if there's a sprint button. I don't see one. Wouldn't surprise me if the game doesn't have a sprint, because they already move pretty fast. Next to toggle wall hug. Oh, it gives you a prompt when you can do it. Shimmy. Left stick to shimmy. What if I stop hugging wall... Right now. Should I do it? Yes. <laughs> Death. Well, that's not surprising. Quick I items. think you actually spell like desu in katakana in that screen. Hmm. Which is like how you write death in katakana. Oh. L, le left stick towards edge while hugging wall to peek. Like the- oh. Enemies it looks like. Advance without being seen by crouching in bushes or moving under floors. You do not have a sword at the moment. Use stealth to avoid enemies and head to the Moonview Tower. If you're about to be seen, warning markers appear above enemies' heads. Oh, there's a warning marker for a second. Probably makes us harder to see when we're in this stuff. They're talking about me. Oh, shit. I dropped some of my antidepressants at the bottom of the well, too. <laughs> and my therapy self-help cook. <laughs> I sure hope he doesn't reach those. I didn't think they'd see me in the half second that I went under the house. Are they gonna de-aggro? Enemies don't really de-aggro in, in Dark Souls 2 or 3, unless you just keep running away from them. So I don't know how this is gonna work. They don't even think that there's like an enemy shinobi in that place. They just really hate rats and they thought they heard a rat. <laughs> Whoa. Uh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hmm. Should I like reload or, or what? Eavesdrop. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. All right, let's just run then. Should I just, like, fall off so I can stop getting this music? <laughs> sure. Alright. Yes, okay, let's try this again. Oh, I think my mistake is that I, like, didn't go into the grass here on the side. I think I kind of came into the open here. This should be fine? Yes. Eavesdrop again? Yes. I wonder if I should finish this eavesdrop thing. Does it matter? Well, this time we can hear it better. True, but we have the subtitles. I'll just get through it like that. Yeah. 
and everything's nice and calm. Ooh. Oh shit. Can't need to drop here. <laughs> you don't say. They don't know how to shimmy. <laughs> oh, is it a full? It's a full moon. Of course. Is it snowing? Yeah. Oh, there's some moon rays, too. Yeah, Dark Souls 2 and 3 in this game, they always have amazing vistas. You can just look out on huge landscapes. Let's ask ourselves a real question, though. Is this mm -hmm. character a dilf? Hmm. Yes. Okay, yeah. Do you think we'll get to customize him? I feel like we're, he's maybe going to rescue someone that is going to become his apprentice and that's oh. going to be our character. Oh, you might be right. Maybe it's this kid that they were talking about in the tower? Yeah. So right now he's just a dude I'd like to fuck, but soon he's gonna be a dad I'd like to fuck. <laughs> よく来てくれた。久しいな、狼よ。お迎えに参上いたしました。我が主。うむ。表を上げよう。サビマル。そなたの刀だ。我が忍びよ。主従の役場に従い。命を賭し。我に仕えよ。ギョイ。Kusapi Maru, a katana given by Kuro, the divine heir, an heirloom of the Harata family, a cadet branch descended from Ashina. Once thought lost, it has found its way back into the hands of the wolf. The name Kusabi Maru, Kusabi Maru? Kusabi Maru. Kusabi Maru. Beseeches. A shinobi's role is to kill, but even a shinobi must not forget mercy. A mantra of the blade itself may manifest. I wonder what that means. Oh, maybe you can take enemies to real low health, but not kill them? Or does no damage to NPCs? Hmm. Or once you've almost killed someone, like you can punch him in the back of the head and they're knocked out? <laughs> <laughs> you know how you slash a sword and then someone becomes unconscious? Yeah. So that is our Estus, healing gourd. A gourd filled with vitality restoring medicine. Resting refills the gourd. Estus! Made by an apprentice of the extraordinary doctor, Dogen. Though it is strange that the gourd's medicinal waters refill automatically, the seeds within may hold the secret to how it works. 
I like that the uh, OK, like the background for the OK button is like a paint stroke. It's nice looking. Like an ink brush stroke, I think. Yeah. その後と。あの世のことを覚えておらぬのか。はい。うん。いや。司祭は後にしよう。今はこの足の城を脱さねばならぬ。行為。掘り沿いに進んだ橋の下に城が家の抜け穴がある。一心様より早期いたことがある。
A pillowcase full of these pellets would also serve as a battle charm. Should probably put that on my quick items. Should I take one now since I'm at half health? I wouldn't. Yeah, I don't know what like healing for a long time means, like ten seconds or like five minutes. And you might come across a idol soon. Okay, I think we're gonna do combat. Posture and death blows. A shinobi aims to break an opponent's posture. Attacking an enemy is one way to achieve this. When an enemy posture breaks, he's vulnerable to a shinobi death blow. Right button to attack, right button after breaking posture for a death blow. Okay. I'm scared. Lock onto targets, just like Dark Souls. Okay. Like, how do I block? Joe. Ooh. Good offense is the best defense. At least it blow. Damn it. Oh, fuck, I married a new one. Death blow. Deflection. Yes, that's what I wanted to know how to deflect. Sometimes relentless attacks is not enough to break an enemy's posture. Deflecting enemy attacks is another way to damage their posture. A master shinobi uses a combination of deflect and attacks to res uh, achieve swift victory. Left button. The moment an attack lands to deflect. Okay. Is it going to be more like block or parry? Hmm. So you can hold it, but you're supposed to do it the moment that they attack, so... Hmm. Shit! Oh, there. So uh, it can do both. Yeah, I think they're being super easy on me. Like, if I just held it and they attacked me once, it seems like that gave me the opportunity for a death blow. Oh. I still almost died. And uh, yeah, that pellet didn't heal for very long. Is it cut? Um, no. Yeah. I was wondering if it was going to let me hug the wall off of the cliff. Oh. Uh, hold down the button for a strong attack. That's similar to Dark Souls. So, yeah, let's mess around with attacking a little bit. So right button does this. Right button a bunch. Does a bunch of attacks. Hold it down and it does a charge attack. It looks all cool. What about right trigger? Nothing. Doesn't do anything right now. Left trigger doesn't do anything. Left button is the block. You can go into an attack from a block. Like you can hold block and then press attack and it goes out of it. And then goes back to it if you keep holding down block. Let's see if there's a number of combos you can do when you're attacking. So like one, two, three, two, three, four, five, one. Yeah, it looks like there's like five attacks that are kind of fast and then it resets. So there's no stamina, huh? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Whoa, that's a huge difference. That's massive. I guess yeah, Europeans get more winded easily. <laughs> <laughs> I love the sparks. My poor, poor blade. <laughs> Should I go back up here and take out the people that I snuck past? Lock on. By locking onto your target and keeping your enemy in front of you, you'll find it much easier to attack, deflect, and perform other combat actions. Yep. Gonna fight two at the same time while I have almost no health. Cool. Mm. 
Let me try to deflect. Okay. That was cool. That felt good. Yeah, they're still up here. Was it just the one? I think there was also people inside the building. Hopefully they don't come out. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the B button to do kind of like dash in whatever direction you're aiming. Oh. The charging up a strong attack while they run at you thing is pretty effective. Yeah. I was hoping there'd be loot up here or something. Oh god. Uh, I know you're supposed to be able to jump on top of stuff, but maybe I shouldn't try that till they kind of tell me to. Hashtag game feels feeling really good. It's very responsive. Let's get it trending, guys. Hashtag game feel. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god, what if there was just a nest at the end of this and it was gonna be. Give us smooth! Give us silky! It's a very pretty branch. Leader. <laughs> Counter slash. Counter slash can be performed immediately after deflecting an attack. This allows you to deal posture damage without giving the enemy time to recover. Left button the moment attack lands to deflect, then right button after deflecting for a counter slash. Okay. It seems like they're just telling me you can get damage in while they're down? Is basically what they're saying? Wait a minute, do I have stamina? Look at the bar in the bottom middle. What is that? Oh, maybe they added it. And they have stamina too. I think that is stamina? Do I only have it for boss fights? Or like, what, what happens if it gets to max? Is it just that you can't attack kind of thing? I'm scared to you, test you it. Stop blocking. Oh yeah, that's probably it. Oh, oh wait, that's the posture, isn't it? Is that the posture damage or something? I don't know how this game works. Oh, like you can stagger Ooh. them, or they can stagger you, or just kill you. That's all. Yeah, that's probably how close you are to getting, to getting. Posture? Postured? Depostured. Depostured. Hey, I get all my health back. Yeah. Do I get my items back? The healing gourd? Yes. No pellets. But the healing gourd always comes back. Okay. Okay, I just fought through all these enemies again to get back here so you didn't have to watch that. Before I do the boss fight again, though, Omni has a name for our healing gourd. What's it gonna be? Tamagotchi. Tamagotchi? Yeah. Isn't the name of a thing already? <laughs> yes! <laughs> this little game that was popular in the 90s where you just had to keep a creature alive. 
Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, Tamagotchi. 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 Okay, so when I was fighting these enemies and looking at how the, the bars responded to, like, doing attacks and whatnot, um, yeah, the yellow bar that grows from the center outwards for both me and the enemy, um, it does appear for even non-bosses. It's just, it doesn't appear over, like, the whole screen. It's just localized to the enemy. You know, the whole, like, big health bar for a boss sort of thing makes it bigger. But uh, that's how close the posture is to being broken for you or the enemy. And, of course, you don't actually have to break the posture of an enemy. Like, during that fight, I did hurt them a bit. But uh, I'm guessing you do a crap ton of damage when you break their posture and do a special attack. So, or actually, is it a death blow? Does it just instantly kill them? I'm not sure. We'll see. But yeah, I think the fight's going to take forever and probably be super hard if you don't break their posture. And the posture recovers quite quickly, so it seems like you really want to keep the pressure up and not just like swoop in, do an attack, and then back out. So, I think it's going to be pretty fast-paced. Uh, I should remember that I have a healing gourd. Tamagotchi. I can use my Tamagotchi. Okay, come on. Try number two. Yeah, so is that... Kill yeah. them, or does that just do a shit ton of damage? Oh, it kills them. Yeah. Death blow against strong enemies. Some powerful opponents require multiple death blows to be killed. The number of death blows required to kill an enemy is shown by the red circular markers above their vitality bars. Each death blow removes one marker. Oh. Oh, we have to kill them again. Interesting. That's that's actually really interesting. So they're not dead yet. Yeah, they have two markers where we've removed one of theirs. But they also have a normal health, don't they? Could you kill them by never doing a death blow? It'd probably suck, but... Yeah. Okay, I need to back off. My posture's really close to breaking. Feels really good. Did I just gain pellets? Guess they had it on them? Yeah. Should have like, used them. Never hoard. Yeah. I didn't have them until the end of the fight, though. No, I was talking to the boss. Oh, yeah. I should have used them. Yeah. Rectangle, rectangle, triangle. Kind of looks like a face, doesn't it? Oh. It's like a... Like a pumpkin. Like a carved pumpkin. This is the, the sound that face makes. <laughs> <laughs> Cutie. Always gotta remember it's a From Software game. Always gotta look down off a ledge to see if there's something you can fall down onto. Oh god. Wrong button. Fistful of ash. Ash gripped into a hardened clump. Throw it at an enemy to temporarily distract them. In Ashina, the snow falls thick, and thus the heart the hearth runs thick with ash. Weird. Gripped into a hardened clump. Yeah, it's like clay or something almost, the way it looks. What's hearth? Uh hearth I'm not sure how to define it, but it's basically like a fireplace. Okay. Like in a home, a fireplace. Um, I suppose I should put that on my quick bar too, shouldn't I? As always, I'm wondering where should I go? That looks to be a place. Oh, you actually can sprint. Is this really open? Does not open from this side. Okay, that's very Dark Soulsian. But yeah, if you hold down the button that uh, you use to do this dash, uh, B, if you press B, it does this dash, but if you hold it down, you do a little, like, quick dash to start, and then you do actually do a faster move. And since there's no stamina, you can do that forever. Uh, 
See, I had to also break my built-in uh, like instincts from playing Dark Souls. I see this, and I think, oh man, I better not go down because I can't get back up. But you can. You can jump, right? Like, I can just jump back up. That is so cool. Multiple ways to go. There's a bird up there? That might not be a bird, that might be a person. I'm not sure. Let's go up first. Wall jump ledge hang. A and air near wall to wall jump. And then X to ledge hang. Ah. Let's do that again. Jump, wall jump, ledge hang. Oh, and it does this huge zoom out. That's really cool. Oh, look at that. Secret passage. Well, that's the main Do you think so? Yeah. She said that she needs secured a passage under the moat. Oh, right. Hello? What is that is not a human or a bird. What? Wait, you're an enemy? Or... Oh god. What are you? Holy crap. Fierce little thing. I've totally forgotten to ask. Is there like supernatural elements to this story? Um. But I guess this answer. But like, yeah. <laughs> that's not human. No, it's wearing wood. Uh, what do you call those? Are those clogs or? I have no idea. Sandals, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely some kind of yokai. What does yokai mean again? Is that demon? Uh, it's just monster. Oh. It had a voice like a human. It's kind of sounded like an old man or something. Oh, that might be where I'm supposed to go down there. Do you think that's a secret passage? Mm, yeah. Looks like you drop down, drop down. Okay, then I don't want to go this way just yet. Can you put this in the in the playthrough? I love my wife. I love my wife too. <laughs> Since going over there seems to be the main way, let's see what's down here. I wonder how far you can fall before you get hurt. Oh, that just... so you could go up the other side if you want? Maybe? Is there something to grab onto here? No. No. But we can go down here. Oh, I think this might lead around to the same place, actually. Fucking love Dark Souls. Yes! <laughs> Bamboo! We're supposed to be stealth. Oh. Shh. How slow can I go? Dang, you really can't go that slow. That's the slowest I can go. Wow, my face doesn't look good. 
Wow. Looks like I have my face <laughs> has been burned. Dual taken away. <laughs> oh, fuck. I mashed a button accidentally. Whoops. Actually, it's probably fine. Honestly. I was a bit hurt. Is that the sculpture thing? The sculptor's whatever? Idol? Yeah, because that also looks like the thing we saw at the bottom right of the screen when it was loading one time. It's like a loading screen thing and it had blue flame around it. Is there something down there in that water? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, if you go down there, Shrek will come and be like, Get out of my swamp! Are you just going to be here with the memes? <laughs> yes! I'm your meme wife. <laughs> This appears to be the escape route called the Divine Air with a reed whistle. Yes. 